It's the show that combines singing with some very clever detective work. And now there's a whole new cast of secret celebrities set to perform in more wonderfully wacky costumes for a brand new series of The Masked Singer. Let's have a look. Davina joins us right now, and it's lovely to Hi. see you. We love having you here. I love it in here. Chris, the festive season we go all out, is don't we? so good. We're holding yeah. on to every last moment. Yeah, of cling it on. As well. Cling yeah. on. Yeah. Do you know, the funny thing is, um, you heard when the show was first put forward, yes. loads of people saying, I can't see how that's no. going to work. And people were sort of, oh, well, this is ridiculous. What's the point? Even I, before I saw it, thought, well, you're not even seeing the celebrity. Well, I don't get it. How's it going to work? It made me laugh so much when I saw it for the first time. I thought, oh, I get it. Yeah. I think the big appeal about The Masked Singer is the fact that two-year-olds, three-year-olds, it's yeah. the visual spectacle of it makes it amazing for all ages. And there's so few programmes mm. that children yeah. of all ages can sit in front of and really But right enjoy. the way up to... Grand At any age. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, having sort of got kids across the board from all sorts of ages, it is the one that we all sit down and watch and enjoy. So we've got a whole new yes. season, a whole new load of celebs in. And in so many of, funny names. I know we'd obviously, yeah. Can you tell us what you can yeah, tell so, us, basically? So I, I want to tell you quickly about a character called Rubbish. Who's not, Rubbish? Not, not good for your self esteem. No. Because you every time they come out, Oh, it's rubbish! No! <laughs> like, uh, it's so it's rubbish? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I can't, I don't want to divulge no. any secrets about how their performances are. I don't, I want, or, or also, so you know, have seen them now. So have yes. a look, we've got Pigeon. Pigeon was amazing mm -hmm. because Pigeon played Pigeon mm -hmm. so well. Phoenix was a Phoenix. I started forgetting that there was actually a celebrity in the costume. Phoenix was so good. Phoenix strutted about oh. the set as if they owned it, you know, fanning the flames with its wings. Um, notice I'm saying it's because yeah, yeah, yeah. with a lot of the characters, you don't know. And this is where the, the fun comes in yeah. for the kids. It's well, like, you've got, as you say, you've got a yeah, woman. Yeah. Rubbish, as you, you mentioned, you've got ghost, you've got cat and mouse. We'll come to that in just a moment. Uh, piece oh. of cake, pigeon, fawn, knitting, potato, otter, phoenix, otter. rhino and jellyfix. Otter, I mean, Mo and I, not joking, Mo and I send pictures of otters to each other all the time, not even oh. with any words, it's just an otter. Oh. Um, I think I'm going to have to take him to an otter sanctuary as oh. his... Uh, Fell in love with otter. Like, present this year. You, you're quite clever because you, obviously, it's a guessing game, ultimately, yeah. and you want to win, and yeah. you have got many of them in the past, but your tip is right. you watch them when they walk on, when yes, they walk yes, on, you yes. hope they drop character. yes. Well, what is interesting is some people you can tell from their gait. I just met somebody backstage who said that they guessed Gloria Honeyford from the way that she walked and nothing else. Mm. And I thought, oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. Although I know Gloria Honeyford quite well and I didn't guess her from yeah, her walk. Yeah. But so you're always thinking, are you... Also, it gives you an idea for the personality. If they are in character all the time, are they a showman? Mm -hmm. Is that showing off? Are they an actor because they're fantastic at um, acting that's not that easy, part? No, is it? it's not. Especially in those it's costumes. Exhausting. Yeah, non-stop as well. But the other thing that they do and they've got really good at is disguising their speaking voice mm. and disguising their singing voices. So they might start for a few weeks singing and you think, oh, you're this person. And then suddenly, week five, they crack out a song and you're thinking, yeah. oh, I'm going to have to throw all my guesses in the bin. What's that? So who chooses their... Going back to... Rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> um, so who chooses Rubbish's outfit? Is it some a clue into Rubbish's life? Or did Rubbish say, I'd quite like that to be something to do with me? Um, often you get shown a list of possible looks for you and you can choose what you'd like. Sometimes it's somebody that um, maybe doesn't want to be too physical um, or perhaps 
a costume that's too tight might reveal a huge clue about who they are mm. or so I'm often thinking that but often so rubbish is a rubbish bin so you can't see any like, you can't even get a rough idea of shape or anything no. and so <laughs> oh I tell you Stephen Mulhern you give Giggling just then made me think about it. Stephen Mulhern was a guest panellist. I've never laughed so hard in my life. <laughs> was he good? Oh, he was just, he was actually quite good, but he was also just hilarious because he kept looking at me in the middle of a performance going, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? This is the weirdest show ever. It's so Stephen, that show. He it's loves so it. Stephen. Mm. It's so it really Stephen. is. And um, obviously the panel is all back together. Yes. I was interested to, Jonathan Ross's dressing room sounds Incredible. It's epic. He brings, you know, sometimes if you're, you've worked together on Dancing on Ice, even yeah. where you have a dressing room for a while and it's the same thing and the, it's, you know, you it's, anything. it's basic. I never, I never take, take anything. anything. I bring a candle, he brings bring a, few a little chair, bits. a poof. Uh, he brings a comic book stack with all the comic books. He brings his own stereo system from the 60s, which is the coolest thing you have ever seen. He brings pictures to hang on the wall. It's amazing. We're going wrong like here, that. aren't we? It's so like good. That. We're missing a trick, people. Well, like we, Mary we're in the dressing bag. rooms downstairs in our dressing rooms, like, all year, um, other than, as James Corden says, the 19 weeks we have <laughs> off, uh, uh, for summer. But, um, <laughs> but, but I haven't got anything in there at all. I think we need to change it up, people. Yeah. yeah, make it a home yeah. and home. Um, we, I mentioned Cat and Mouse. That, yes. you, it's the first time you've got, had a, got a duo. Yes. And um, does that make it easier because is it, is it a duo that couldn't well you already know it. Um, <laughs> so don't say anything uh so is it a, a duo that are always together or a duo that have been put together so or a it performing is a duo? duo that would be known for being together but it could be a couple it could be mother son father daughter father son it could be anything and it could be... Um, you I mean, were very it, tall in that picture, weren't you, Holt? So very, very tall. It just gives my true height away. And I went down completely, completely the wrong road with, with those two. Did you? But I like the duos. Because you think, oh, it's quite easy. There aren't that many, but there are a lot. Yeah. <laughs> when you start really thinking about it. And in terms of, you know, even actors that play mother sons it doesn't have to it can be quite tenuous yeah, yeah, yeah actually it's much more yeah um are you getting better i mean you've never let anything slip and whenever we interview the celebs and they come out they always say the hardest part is keeping it a secret from family yes i bet and you have to do them. this series after series yes now. i mean i my most used emoji me and joel Dommert talk about that um it, my most used one during that time when it's on is that yeah, yeah. don't know <laughs> don't ask me. and his one is the one with the monocle <laughs> mm, guessing, guessing. Um, and uh, with my kids, they know not to ask me anymore, but they'll go, they'll say a name and then they'll look at me to see what my <laughs> poker face is. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm getting very good. Yeah, yeah yes, well, I'm getting very good. You have well, to. Um, have to. You, um, uh, we've got to have, because uh, we're running out of time, unfortunately, but, uh, but whilst you're here, um, Big Brother back. Yes. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, I'm excited to see ITV2, I think. It's a good home for it because it's a bit edgy. Um, it's kind of somewhere where you can kind of play around a little bit. Yeah. They're talking about going a bit more back to basics, which I think it would really suit. I agree. Um, I can't wait to see what they do with the casting. Um, I think that's really important. And are we still, can you believe that we still don't know who the presenter is? And you're out of the mix. Well, I'm out of the mix. What's you're going on? You will always be my big brother presenter, though. Thanks, Holly. But I, can't I mean, my like... heart is in that show. I love that show. Yeah. But I, you know, Ryland would be great. I think Emma uh, Willis has pulled out. Emma, Emma's, Emma's not, not in it. Emma's yeah. not in the running. Um, obviously, well, AJ. Is, we've is... heard about AJ. Her name's in the running. Yeah. You know, or they're going to go for someone really edgy and like unheard of. But it has to be a fan. But you need me and Ryland would be so well, upset. You need someone kind and loving and someone to kind and look loving after but them edgy. Yeah. Who can? I mean, Ryland loves that show. Oh, I mean, he is oh, big brother. Not, also, he's yeah. not missed one episode. No, of any yeah. series. No, no. On any channel, like he's amazing. Um, we'll see. Thanks. It's so I nice love to you guys. See you. New Happy series. New Year. Happy New Year. In the New Year. So yes. We don't know the exact date, but it's in the New Year. Thank you. Love you guys. Love you too.